Well, Chelsea absolutely got thumped yesterday to Celtic, which you can take it how you want to. It is a preseason match, so I'm not going to be overly concerned about it because we've had years prior to that where we played very, very well in the preseason and then did absolutely nothing in the league. And minus that, we've been done really poorly prior to our preseason and done really well in the league. So preseason for me is not really that big of an issue, minus a few things which we did see in this game. And it is slightly concerning because as we all know, Enzo Maretzka has come in as the new manager. We've had multiple players that were out injured last season. Fofana, Lavia, the list goes on, and Cuckoo. I know he did play a little bit with Pochettino, but these players didn't get much time frame under Pochettino. So they're like new signings. There's a new manager. They have to impress this manager. And what we saw yesterday was not impressive from some of these players, especially our defense, which is today's main talk talking point because of how poorly our defense has been set up. And whether that is Enzo Moretzka or because of preseason with the heat in the States, I do not know. But this, again, is a big spot that we are going to have to figure out because if we do not, it's going to be another long season of us just letting goal in after goal. Depending on who we play, it should not matter because what we saw in this match was how leaky we are out in the the wide area of the pitch, but also the lacking of the constant being nice and straight with our back line. That second goal that they scored, Bata Shield is just drifting all over the place inside the box, and therefore it doesn't matter where our line is sitting because if we have a defender sitting so far back, it allows all these runs into the box. Now again, it is preseason. Maybe there's just miscommunication that's been going on, but still, we're less than a month away from the season starting, we open up against Manchester City, which we all know they're going to be a well-oiled machine coming into that match. And there's a possibility right now with how we are playing that they come and just absolutely smash us out of the park at Stamford Bridge, which that could be a big blow, not only for the players themselves, but for Enzo Maretzka in your first match. Now, again, you understand you're playing the champions of the league itself, but still you want to come out fighting. And what we saw yesterday there is a possibility that that's not going to happen. Now, yes, you could put some blame on Robert Sanchez, which I am not going to be putting any blame on him. I think he did quite well. Yes, there was the one goal that he did let up, but still, what we were seeing with the CBs here, with Fofana and with Tosin and with uh, Battish Shield, with all the guys he's been stuck with right now, there's been so many errors that I don't think he feels confident playing the ball to these guys or understanding where exactly they're going to be on the pitch. And therefore, again, which is why I think he came out to chase that ball because he had no idea what was going to happen. And now, again, that comes down to communication. But you even heard in the second goal him yelling at Battish Shield to drop back man mark, follow his guy, and that did not happen. So if that's not happening in the second goal, there's a good possibility he's already yelling something in that third goal. And again, it's Battish Shield. We do not know if he's hearing him or not, and therefore it's leading to the issue. So there's been some miscommunication with our back line, with our goalkeeper. Now this does come down to, again, we need to have these players communicating. Yes, it's a second match under the new man manager, but still, this is a big talking point. And like I said, Enzo Maretzka needs to figure this out. We have a few more preseason matches. We do play Manchester City yet. We play Real Madrid. And then there's one other one I'm blanking on right now, which is our next match. But still, it is shocking with, again, two games in. We haven't looked that good. Our midfield's been lacking, but it's the defense. And I will do a tactic video on this at the end of preseason because, again, if he does figure this out, then we can talk about what we need to do differently. But still, that is the big point right now that Enzo Maretzka needs to figure out. So we'll see if it happens. I do want to know, though, what do you guys think so far in our two preseason matches? What's your takeaway? What do you think we need to fix? What's Enda Maretzka need to do? Signings, not signings. I want to know what you guys think. Comment down below. I'll get to those as quickly as possible. If you did like this video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe down below. I greatly appreciate it, and I will see you in our next video.